beautiful cookbooks. And she taught me to read them like novels. So I have loved them ever since. It was a segment I always wanted to do on this show, and it has turned into one of our most popular segments. And I'm so excited tonight to bring you the Skinny Taste Cookbook. It's light on calories, but super big on flavor. Now, our author is a very special lady, Gina Homolka. Yes, thank you. Um, has a blog by the same name. Over 5 million people visit this blog every single month. And she developed these recipes, at least initially, because she wanted to lose a little weight to fit into her wedding dress. But then she realized it was a lifestyle. And she is sharing her first cookbook with all of us tonight, already super popular, 150 recipes, nutritional value with every single one. Ladies and gentlemen, Let's make her feel welcome. Gina Homolka is here. Hello, my friend. Hi, David. Nice Thank to you see so you. Thank you so much for having me. Congratulations on your new book. Thank you. So exciting. And I'll tell you, one of the things that we all struggle with in the kitchen. Now, I love to cook full fat, full sugar sometimes, but I also love to do things that are lighter. But I hesitate sometimes with a lighter recipe because it's not always great on flavor. Right. You've really learned to crack the code and bring us great food that is lighter and fair, but really super high in flavor. Yeah, I mean, I feel like if, if it doesn't taste great and it's just low in calories, no one's going to eat it. So for me, having great flavor is crucial. Exactly. Well, you were on during Jill's show earlier yeah. tonight, and between that presentation and already during In the Kitchen with David, we have taken orders now for the day of over, checking, over 4,200 wow. books are gone. This is our brand new cookbook, you guys. Unbelievable. And your very first time on QVC yep, ever, and you're doing time. an awesome job. Thank Look you. at you. All right. So let's get in uh, because, you know, life is short. Eat macaroni and cheese first. <laughs> yes. You did a lightened version of mac and cheese, but you also included my favorite vegetable, broccoli. Yes. I put broccoli in it, and it's baked in the oven. It's got Parmesan cheese on top and breadcrumbs. Ooh. But if you don't like broccoli, you can put any vegetable that your family likes. Sometimes I make it with spinach, sometimes I put cauliflower. Yum. And it's so cheesy it and It smells creamy amazing. And... So you just backed up the fat, made this a little lighter, yeah, is exactly. that right? Exactly. Okay, let me grab a fork think. here. Macaroni and cheese. I one love of my it. daughter's favorites. Is so. that right? How yes. old's your little one? My little one's four, gonna be five. Oh, so bless her heart. Thank you. So I, mm. I have to make my food taste good for her. Oh, come on. What do you think? It's amazing. Thank this you. is awesome. Mmm. It's so creamy, and I don't miss any of that. No, extra you fat. don't miss it. It still has great flavor and it's warm and comforting. Mm. It's like the ultimate comfort food. Without a doubt. Oh, please, you're, you're, you're <laughs> preaching to the choir. All right, so here we go. Let's move in. And you also have a lightened version of a fried chicken. Yes. This is pretty amazing because it's not fried, although it looks fried. Exactly. Fried chicken is my biggest weakness. So this chicken, I removed the skin and I brined it overnight in buttermilk. And it has a crispy coating, so it's juicy on the inside and it's crispy on the outside. Well, I know you know this because buttermilk is actually lower in fat than some That's reduced, right. like like two percent milk. Absolutely. It's actually lower in yes. fat, but it's super high in great flavor, right? It's, it's so great for making mm. flavor into the chicken. What do you think? I put paprika, lemon. Can you hear the crunch? <laughs> oh my word, that's amazing. And you get all that great flavor profile in there. It's not bland at all. Not bland. And it's actually so much easier than frying because you don't mess up the kitchen. Mm. And 40 minutes you put it in the oven, it's done. Mm. Perfect. Now, let's talk desserts. Okay. You have some kind of delicious chocolate goodness yeah, right so here. Yeah, so my about daughter loves chocolate chip cookies. So these chocolate chip cookies actually have no butter. Instead, no butter? No butter. So instead, I replace the butter with healthy fats. With it's mashed avocado. But I swear you can't tell. My daughter has no idea. She eats these all the time. All They're right. chewy and chocolatey and delicious. Tell me what you think. Oh my goodness, you guys! I, I don't think this tastes like guacamole. It does not. <laughs> no. <laughs> all you did is you you achieve that wonderful it, creaminess of the avocado, creamy, right? And the chocolate is such a strong flavor. Yes, you don't taste the avocado. There's cocoa powder. There's chunks of chocolate. There's walnuts. If you mm. don't, if your kids don't like walnuts or you can't have nuts, you can just put more chocolate in it. But there's still that you feel good help feeding your kids because it's healthier and light. Tell us about your noodleless lasagna. Okay, so this is a zucchini lasagna. So I replaced the pasta with thin strips of zucchini. But it has a meat sauce and it's very cheesy and it's Ooh. got an amazing marinara sauce. So it tastes just like a lasagna without the pasta. So you're really cutting way back on oh, the you're carbs. You're really with cutting this one. so many carbs on this. Mm. What do you think? Uh huh. <laughs> uh huh. Right? Hold this, please. <laughs> Time for the happy dance. Yes. There it is. Come on. Come on. Get it. Get it. <laughs> That's comfort food, Isn't you guys. That comfort food? Mm. It's such a great dish. Let me also show this gorgeous book to everyone that I know you've been working so hard on. This is an amazing book. Now, the book is really extraordinary because every single recipe comes with nutritionals. Yes. You have a whole chapter or a whole area of the book where you can cook meals in 30 minutes or less. Yes. 
There's also a freezer friendly. That's right. Uh, grouping of recipes, gluten free recipes yeah. in the book as well. Mary, you got that gluten free. <laughs> So some really marvelous, a lot marvelous of things. Gluten-free, vegetarian. All the recipes have nutritional information, and they have helpful icons so you could locate which recipes are gluten-free. Breadless so French fork. onion soup with Parmesan Asiago crisps. Come on now, <laughs> this is amazing. Everybody is grabbing this book. I will tell you, we are busy on our phone lines. Don't miss out on this opportunity. Gorgeous, delicious. Favorite foods that are all lighter and fair, all thanks to our marvelous friend Gina. And is our audience eating something delicious? Yeah. Are you eating from Gina's book? They're all having your mac and cheese, which is awesome, and it's delicious. Great. Gina, thank you thank so you much. So what much a pleasure to have me. you here thank tonight. You. Such an exciting night. Thank you.